hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a school supply haul for college slash if you want to be an overachiever like me so this is the first time you've seen my face don't forget to like this video comment down below what you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell down below so let's get into it School starts for me to two weeks. So I just bought a couple things that I know I'm gonna to need to start off with. So I'm gonna start off with whatever's in front of me, tell you why I got it, what I usually use it for, how I like to keep myself organized with that. So I like I wanted to keep a theme with my school supplies like I always do. It's always black and white because I kinda of had to get this pencil case because it was so cute, but it's blue and lime green and it stands up. Boom. It stands up. So I'm gonna sip it. Starting off, pins. These are my favorite pins to use. Not only because they're cheap, but because I just like the way I write in them. But for pencils, I only use these. Not just because I wanna be fancy, but for math classes, I like these. The 0 0.5 for math and like 0 0.7 for anything else. Um, I like these because they last long and they're worth the price because they do last longer because you have it comes with lead and some erasers you don't have to buy pencils for a while unless you lose them so all my school supplies are in this your haul box if you wonder why there's a box behind me but I just grab stuff out so I like these like thick highlighters because I write so big it's like I don't like the small ones they barely cover anything like at all like they'll cover like the middle of my word. Next thing is index cards. I like to use like the big jumbo ones that I get from Office Depot, but I don't get those until like midterms and finals because that's when I use those. But I just use these for like small tests and stuff. This is a 200 count um, three by five neon and white heavy weight ruled index cards. I bought some post-it notes and stuff post-it notes i mean i use them in my planner also use them in my textbook whenever i need to use things speaking of textbooks i use these little tabs for little things in the textbook i'll actually have a tab put them on the tab and then i'll write it on there it's not really color coordinated it kind of is like you know the blue goes the blue yellow goes the yellow pink pink on and i have a sticky notepad i think this is a dollar i got this last semester but i lost it but found it again so it's just like a way to for me to keep myself organized in whatever, especially during studying time. It helps you can go back and look at it again for anything. So I also have this white five star folder, uh, two prong, two pocket, very simple. Two packs of loose leaf, they're both college rules. So I like to decorate my stuff to make it personal, to make it mine. So I have a five subject, five star notebook and I've decorated both of them. So the white one has sunflowers on it. Sunflowers are super cute. I really like it like this. Um, sunflowers are my favorite flower and I just decided to do that. Um, I like it that way. Uh, the black one, I didn't really like the way I did it. Maybe I need to add more stickers or spread them out some more and then it look fine. But it just looks like this. I just kind of make them how I want because I I just love decorating. <laughs> and then I have the white binder and I have all of these stickers on it. But the reason why I like this one specifically, and I'm about to put y'all on. I don't know if you're on it already, but I'm about to put y'all on. So this binder is so thick and durable. It doesn't bend. It's, it doesn't weigh down. It literally lasts for a while. But that's why I only got one because I have a couple already. But it's literally a binder bundle. It comes with a ruler, comes with five dividers, and um, a document holder in the back. And I've used that all the time. See, they have the ruler right here. The ruler is very thick and very durable. It's not like a fake plastic one. And you also have, you know, your five dividers and then the document holder. And I like that. It helps me stay organized. I don't use the ruler unless I have to, but you know, the binder is good just in case you need it. So now I'm gonna write something. 
on here just to show you how my hair is. It's not the best, it's not the cutest. I have my five star notebook right here. Um, I'm just gonna write my name and then I'm gonna write today's date. Basically showing you how I write. If you see the shadow, that's because the light is right there, but I'm just gonna write my name. And the date. See, very, keep very simple. With these pins, also I like the way my handwriting looks on this type of paper. I'm not really worried about if it's uh, how it is for loose leaf, but I just keep it that way. But this is why I use the big pin, the big highlighters, because I can easily go over that and that's highlighted. Unlike the small one, probably get in the middle of it. Of course, now my name I have to do it twice because I do write big, but this lip marker can literally cover up almost a whole line. So that's all for today's video. Very short, simple, sweet how to why I get my school supplies, what I get them for, and all of that. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to comment anything down below if you liked it or what would you like to see next. And I'll be back with more videos.